Hey, welcome back to another installment of What Weird Part Will These Flowers Be Built Out Of? We've already built gerberas out of steering wheels and a whole heap of oars, which was really fun. We built whatever these plants were called. They're really pretty what they're called. Oh, lupins, lupins out of pink and purple pirate hats. And today we are building Welsh poppies out of, wait for it, shoulder pads. So these are all from the wildflower bouquet, which is just full of exciting and interesting part usage. So let's go and if you blink you'll miss it this is a really quick build so we've got a yellow round and we've got a green round on the top of it claw clips going on the side to attach the shoulder pads because shoulder pads don't just stay on by themselves and because this is lego we're not going to be using velcro like you would if you're wearing real shoulder pads and if you'd lived in the 80s now shoulder pads let's do it these beautiful curved yellow pieces i just love them they're bright yellow and they're just so cheerful and they bring me so much joy so we have four of these on alternating sides of the flower and this is pretty much almost it for the flower except we need the inside and to do that we've got this wheel cog thing which is really cool because it adds all the texture of the polleny stuff on the inside and then the pointy bit in the middle which I assume is the stamen. How simple and pretty is that though? It's substantial, quite a big looking flower. Are they this big in real life? Like they would fit in the cup of your hand? Anyway, we have two of them. They're just gorgeous but we're not done because there are a few more interesting things that we're going to put together today but they don't have as interesting parts so we're just going to build them anyway. This is, these are some greenery for the bouquet so these are leather leaves ferns something that I don't know that we have here in Australia but once we get all of these green bits on and the little brown pegs to actually stick them onto then we can put the actual foliage on so we got our green leather leaf fern ta-da and we've got well we, we're not done with that yet we just need one little tippy over one one little bendable one to put on the end nice and then we have two of these I think we're actually meant to have three I'll put all the stems on them in a moment because it just makes them super long but we're also going to build Queen Anne's Lace which is something that I had heard about from childhood in a poem in one of my childhood poetry books which was just gorgeous but once again it doesn't grow here in Australia I always just kind of assumed it was too delicate for our a <laughs> really hot environment and not particularly rainy either so yeah I I'm really excited to be building Queen Anne's Lace this is, is this what it actually looks like so we've got some nice very very little white flowers all bundled up and they're all bunchy bundling going on on each side isn't that just pretty that is so pretty so we've got two of these and now we just need stems for everything else oh actually we ha we have to build the stems for the queen anne's lace so got green going with the little red pins in between stick them all together and uh, yeah i sped that up because that was really super boring so same thing for the other one beautiful big long stems and then yeah we have got one more of these ferns which are going to be they're going to be great because they're going to angle out out sideways while all the flowers are going uppy so they'll look really nice in the bouquet when we put it all together and these Welsh poppies get the nice thin stems just one nice big piece and this one gets the thin stem too and then we're done look see not only did we build some beautiful Welsh poppies out of shoulder pads but we've got some nice greenery filler too just make this bouquet gorgeous. I'm pretty sure the Queen Anne's Lace is also a filler for the bouquet too. It's not really a folk or flower, right? Okay, we're not quite done with the bouquet yet. We've still got a few more flowers to do, so we'll do that in a future video. For now, I'm going to go and add these to the rest. We got lupins in here being a gorgeous, brightly coloured folk or flower. And the gerberas, whose petals, oh gosh, we're already losing petals off the gerberas, right? Okay, see you again soon.